if they have plans. Um, I have thought um, about it. Always. 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 Always when you go home. Eventually, when I pass, she knows that that's where I will, I will be. I will come home to, to Paro, to the Marathi. I definitely have plans. My wife has other plans. Um, I would really like to go home. I've always said to my wife, I want to go home. When I eventually, when I pass, she knows that that's where I will, I will be. I will come home to, to Paro, to the Marathi, be, be beside my mum and dad. Um, but at the moment, my daughter is getting married you know, very shortly. Um, she's going to have mokos. And we've been looking for mokos for years, looking after her, looking to, to have mokos for years. Um, so for us to go home, it's going to pull us away from our mokos. So um, at the end of the day, yeah, I'd love to go home, but um, I think my family and my mokos will stay here. So I think that uh, I'm going to probably end up staying in Australia until, uh, you know, until that day. Um, I have thought about it plenty of times. Um, I miss home. Obviously, home, home is where the heart is. It's, New Zealand will always be my home, but I don't have any solid plans to move back to New Zealand anytime soon. My whole family's here in Australia, and yeah, yeah, I love it here. I've only been here for a short time, um, and most people in Far know that I've interacted or talked with no matter how long they've been here, whether it be a short time or long term, they've felt homesick, um, whereas I haven't as of yet. Um, I can't speak on my, on my children's behalf, but maybe because I'm at that point in my life where I want something different, um, and it's a new beginning, a new journey for me, and I'm just glad that my kids are here, but at this stage, I really don't have any intentions of going home. Um, I've given myself at least a 10 year plan, so yeah, so we'll see how that works. <laughs> mm. Always, always have plans to go home. Home is always going to be home. Um, when? That's the million dollar question. Um, because my heart is still home. I fill my heart with the Māori people that I meet and that I can share with whatever love in my heart. So that keeps me here, I think, more so than any good job. But unfortunately, to live, you have to have a job that will sustain your family so they won't struggle and start searching for other vices to, you know, provide a good home-based living. Um, but yes, always going to go home. There's no place but, but home. But I don't know where we come from Hastings and um, there's not a lot happening in Hastings. From feedback from my family, they always say, no, nah, cousins, stay there. But, um, so if we do return home, it will be alive. <laughs> you know, if, if God's grace is for us to, you know, that is our hope and our prayer to go home alive. And um, where, I'm not sure, my husband has an to door tie, so they have a home in Kōrerua. And my husband's also from Te Hauke, so their family is based there. With me it's a little bit harder because, you know, my mum's from Rotoria, and all her family, um, like her parents, and I think there's brothers and sisters still alive, but there's no actual homestead, so I don't know, you know, I'm sure in my journey of life, which I'll have a few more years, I'll search that out, because that's where I want to go. I want to go back. I've been there, and people have embraced me and loved me. So yes, the plan is for us to all go home. My husband always says, five years. It was like 10 years ago. But we want to be able to go home and live a good, healthy, happy life. Well, my intentions from when I got here were always to always to go home. That that was it. That was in my mind. As home was where the heart is. I was always going to go home. And um, the last year or so, that's somewhat turned around. And and for me, it was a surprise as well because for me, everything was back home. Everything that valued to me was back home. 
But at this stage of my life, I've, I've met someone, and, and for the first time, in, in the, especially in Fremantle, it's just got a good vibe about the place where I thought for the first time I could live here for forever, you know, or until I, until I pass away. So to answer your question, to start off with, I always intentions of going home, but due to my situation now, and, and I guess the Fremantle community and the, and the vibe about the place, the way to about the place, I thought maybe, hey, I could live here, but that's not to say I won't go back, but at this stage of my life, I, I could call this place home and, and build from there. Um, not in the near future. Um, I have many friends over home that have uh, asked me that question. Um, the, the hardest part for me is I'm at an age in my life where a lot of my friends are passing on and it's probably the, the, the hardest part is that you know when that happens it's like I have that yearning that I've got to go home. It's time for me to go home. But reality says, well, no, it's not. Um, and when they've asked me that question, is, you know, are you coming home? It's like, if I go home, it'll probably be in a box. And, but then I've also, also said to myself, does it really matter where I am when I pass over? You know, at the end of the day, um, we're all going to the same place or whichever place we're going. Um, I'm just not an old at all. I have thoughts of being, yeah, maybe I should go back home and all that. And, but yeah, if I'm going to go home, it won't be for a long time. And if we do make the decision to go home, um, uh, it's a bit of a hard one for me because, yeah, we've talked about it, my partner and I, and, like, he'd like to go home, um, but not yet. We're just not ready to go back. But I, like I said, I've always envisioned that when I do go home, eventually go home, it'll probably be in a box or a little beautiful urn. <laughs> that is tough. Yes and no is the answer to that question. Yes, we have been looking at it, um, quite seriously looking at it. I would like to share my experience. I have real life experience, I have educational experience, and I have both on the end of a shovel and sitting behind a desk experience. I'd like to share that with young people in New Zealand. I do have um, a desire to, to lecture at some point. The we have looked at housing in New Zealand. Um, I'm in a position where we could live here and there. Um, I would like to do that. And um, I was in New Zealand six months ago looking, looking at different houses. Um, the, the tough proposition that we now face is I now have mokopona. I have five little ones running around um, who are an absolute joy. And our family has got larger and has got stronger. And I don't want to remove myself from that and make and have them without, I guess, me in their lives. I won't say influence, but um, that's the hard part. So it might be that that is a semi-retired um, quarter or grandpa um, that I might have to do both. But I would certainly like to go back and give something back. I'd love to move back to New Zealand. Um, something that we were looking in Australia for for permanent. It's just for other reasons that we've had to stay on longer than we expected. Our initial goal was five years, um, but then of course the kids were growing up, so there was more to do for them as they grew up. And but no, we'd love to move home. 